Welcome back to the channel, James Charmack here with another Marvel Legends review for you. So, Philly, I have a thing for the MCU Captain America. You know, obviously, you know, one of the better characters from the uh, franchise. So I'm always looking for like the new uh, uniform or whatever. And there are a few that I don't have. I only just started. I wouldn't say just started. I started collecting uh, Marvel Legends. Uh, in 2017 so i missed a few along the way so uh you know there are a couple i'm missing anyway so the a new version of the stealth suit came out from a uh, winter soldier who is 10 years old uh this coming year so that's you know obviously a piece of the puzzle that's missing that i've been looking for so we're going to take a look at the figure take a look at the box the usual, the usual stuff maybe compare them with the, one or two of these and see how it goes so we have the box here, obviously, it's the Infinity Saga for when they lasted the uh, figures anyways. Uh, so you have the uh, Stealth Suit figure right there, the Infinity Saga, Captain America on the bottom. Top, Winter Soldier, of course, on the side, some of the artwork from the Infinity Saga on the back. You get, you know, the artwork from the poster for Captain America Winter Soldier. A little bit of text right there if you want to take a look at it. You know, I hope you've seen the movie. It's, it's one of the best of the MCU. So, uh, anyways, more artwork on the side. Back to the top, Captain America: Winter Soldier, and Captain America. The st usual legal stuff on the bottom. So, let's take them out of the box, take a look at them, and uh, see how this review goes. And we have Cap out of the box, looking very cool, looking spot on to the movie. Uh, this this isn't necessarily armor; it's definitely a uniform. Because if you've seen him, we obviously you can't have like something bulky and you know armored up because he's doing like a lot of uh, martial arts and whatnot in the beginning part, let alone uh, further on in the movie. So you know the armor's going to get in the way when you try to throw some punches or kicks or whatever or flips. Uh, they still need to uh, get a figure for Bad Rack, but you know whenever that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, at least, you know, have some kind of fight scene you know, with the suit. Anyways, uh, obviously, like, I, you know, this is the stealth suit. So, stars looking pretty cool. The uh, silver, you know, silver stripes coming off look nice. Nice head design of uh, the helmet anyways. We'll take a look at the other head in a, in a minute. But still pretty solid looking figure all around. You know, definitely a form-fitting kind of suit rather than, like I said, the bulky one. Nice detail on the boots, of course, and everything else. The figure itself doesn't come with too many accessories. It actually only comes with uh, the Steve Rogers head and the uh, Stealth Shield. And, you know, if chances are you like me, you have plenty of cat figures. So if you wanted to swap out a hand, different hand or whatever, there's plenty of, you know, these kind of gloves that you know you swap out. And that's what's great with these. You can you know customize them or whatever, you know, obviously. But the head, it's pretty close to Chris Evans. I mean, I've seen I've seen a better one. Uh, I'm sure I have him on one of the be one of the Civil War caps. Better looking head. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. But I think it's a little bit too blonde. Uh, I don't think I don't think it you know it was you know this uh, you know flat in a movie, but you know what I kind of would have liked if they had the uh, messy hair, like in, when he takes it off against Bad Rack in the mi beginning. But it is what it is. Still, you know it's not you know it's not that far off where you can't tell it's Chris Evans. But still, you know, like I said, I've seen one better. So there they go. Articulation wise. He has nothing we haven't seen before, am I right? So his head goes back that far, goes forward that far, all the way around. A little bit of a tilt, a little bit of a tilt. His arm goes up that far, so that's kind of cool. All the way around, of course. A bicep rotation, double joint at the elbow, wrist rotation. Doesn't end back and forth. Sometimes they don't do these, like the Iron Man, or a couple they don't. A diaphragm bends back that far, goes forward that far. He's got like Spider-Man kind of bending abilities. Uh, rotation at the waist. Legs go apart just about that far. Not too far, unfortunately. But they go forward and back that far. 
uh, rotation at the thigh, a double joint at the knee, rotation at the uh, chin, uh, back and forth and ankle rotation. So, you know, plenty of uh, plenty of opportunities, you know, put them in a decent action poses, I would presume. Then you shouldn't be able to fall down, so that's pretty cool. And just to compare the heads, I, you know, pulled out the uh, other two that I like, the uh, Infinity War redo of the uh, Captain America and the, uh, I'm going to, I think it's Civil War, uh, it's probably the wrong head, but, you know, he's on to Civil War, uh, uh, versus uh, Crossbones body. Now, I, I think it's the right head, but you know, I don't know. But I like this one the best. You know, well, compared to these two, anyways, uh, I dig this one. I, you know, like I said, it's solid improvement, but I think this one resembles him a little bit better than this. Not to say this isn't a solid one because it's a solid resemblance. You know, they all look like him, but you know, which one looks the best? And just I think the middle one does. Just let me know in the comments below what you guys think. So uh, here he is with the helmet head uh, compared with the other helmet head. Um, I don't know if I ever said it, but I think you know Power and Glory cap is probably the best helmet cap we have. Or I have for you know likeness and you know accuracy, whatever. Just what I think. Uh, if you guys think there's a better you know cap, you know helmet head? Let me know in the comments below. And, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinions, right? So, very solid figure. I dig it a lot. Uh, the only slight drawback I have is the straps on the shield are just a little loose. Like, you really got to jam the, the shield up a little bit so it doesn't fall down. But otherwise, I dig posing him. He's not back heavy at all, really. At all, I should say. So, you could put him in some, you know... A, Maybe some more extreme poses than you probably should, but he can hold them, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, you know, I like the look of the figure, of course. N you know, screen accurate, nice detail, nice paint jobs, whatever. I know it's not much for paint, but still nice, uh, nice uh, helmet looking. The uh, obviously I said the head, the head itself, you know, pretty close to where it needs to be, so that's acceptable. Um, so yeah, it's another worthy. Uh, Captain America figure for the collection. Uh, I'm just missing the World War II uh, uniform one. And, you know, hopefully they'll you know consider doing a new one of that. So that'd be pretty cool. But you know, if you can find this one, you know, pick it up. Probably you know it was about thirty bucks. Sure, why not? Uh, but you know, he's a, you know the the, the alternative is uh, you know paying you know crazy amounts on a second hand market for the previously released. Uh, the stealth suit from the from the wave 10 years ago so uh what do you want to do right anyway thank you guys for watching uh hope you guys did like this review hope you like like this figure like what i'm doing whatever let me know in the comments below of course uh if you like what i'm doing subscribe to the channel i'm one subscriber away at this time i'm one subscriber away from 400 so you know if i you won't if you haven't subscribed to the channel you like you know this minimalistic uh approach you know, how about push me over 400 and give me a subscription? I'd really appreciate it. Uh, so, yeah. You know, one Mar Marvel Legends down. Got a whole bunch of more to go. You know. So, we're going to see what, if we can get to those. Uh, I'm going to try to get to those. I want to I want to get my backlog done before summer, hopefully. <laughs> Probably won't happen, but it'll be nice if I do. And, you know, obviously I'm doing a backlog, so not really doing it for the views. I'm just doing it for the reviews. I guess so uh, anyways hope you guys did like it and if you did you know like subscribe share a video whatever anyways my name is James Charmack this has been a nerd with J&J &J, and as always keep on collecting and happy hunting